Hi, boys and girls. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be learning about tenths written as a fraction and a decimal. So first, let's look at some vocabulary terms that we need to know. A tenth is one of 10 equal sides parts. When we've talked about fractions. We've seen it written as a fraction of one tenth. This is an example looking at it as a fraction. You have 10 parts and one part is shaded. So this is one tenth. A decimal point is a dot that separates the ones place from the tenths place in a number. So the tenths place has a value in our place value system. It comes right after to the right of a one followed by a decimal point. And then a decimal is a number that has one or more digits to the right of the decimal point. So again, you have the ones place, a decimal point, and then anything to the right of the decimal point is a decimal. Here's an example. If I had three tenths, I would be able to write it as a decimal as zero ones, decimal point three, which means zero and three tenths. So there's four ways to represent a tenth. You can represent it using a picture. So in this picture, I have 10 parts and four are shaded. So this picture represents four tenths. I can also write that as a fraction, four in the numerator, 10 in the denominator is four tenths. I can also write it as a decimal. So zero, because there's no whole numbers, decimal point four, and it's stated zero and four tenths. Notice I use the word and to represent my decimal point when I'm using my word, uh, or writing, saying the number as a word. The final way you can do it is on a number line. So if I had a number line, I would mark zero and four tenths. So in this particular number line, notice I start with zero and it goes all the way up to one. So that means everything that's in a decimal is less than one. So my decimal point would be zero and four tenths, the four spot on my number line between zero and one. We also can be using mixed numbers. A mixed number is a number that includes a whole number and a decimal or a fraction. We've talked about mixed numbers with fractions, but now let's look at them as a decimal. In this picture, you see I have one whole that's filled in, and then I have another partial part. So this piece is broken into 10 parts, and I have one, two, three, four shaded in. So this picture, this model represents one whole and four tenths. I would write that as a fraction with a one being a whole number, and then the fractional part four tenths. I would also write it as a decimal with one being my whole number in the ones place and is my decimal point, four is in the tenths place. The first place value after the decimal point is the tenths place. I would also be able to illustrate it on a number line. So this time, notice my number line looks a little bit different. This time it starts with zero, then it goes to one, but it also has an extension to two. Notice if I had one whole before my decimal was before the one, but now it's going to be after the one because I have one whole piece plus four more pieces to make one and one four or one and four tenths. So my decimal point or my point on my number line would actually be between the one and the two. In my picture, if I had colored in the rest of this um, partial fraction piece, then I would have two holes. But now I have one hole and a little bit less than two. So that's how that's represented. So again, that's how you would represent a fraction in the tenths place using a model, a visual model, a fraction, a decimal, and a number line. Click if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more math lessons from Math Maniac 4th grade. Have a great day.